Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a free VPN account on your Mac without any software, like without any third party software. So before starting this video, I would like you to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can watch these kind of videos in future as well. And please hit the bell icon. So let's get started. Now I'm here on my virtual box with Mac operating system installed. So let me just go ahead and open uh, login to my Mac and it's logged in now. Now the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your settings. Either you can use the Apple icon from the top left corner and go to system preference or you can use the shortcut icon from the bottom of your screen. From here what you need to do is just go ahead and click on a network and once the network is open you need to navigate to the bottom left corner to this plus icon and click on this plus icon. Now what we need to set up is the VPN account so we need to select VPN from here then the VPN type that we are using here is L2TP over IPsec. Now in service name you can put any name that you want. So let me just open the website through which we will go ahead and put the settings. So let me just open Safari and the name of the website is vpngate.net. Let's click continue. And when you move down here is the option L2TP IPsec so we are using this setting right now the first option that we have is for Peru let's just put Peru here and then click on create once I click on create it will ask for the server address and the account name so the server address is right here let me just copy it for you and you need to check that it's L2TP IPsec enabled. The settings is L2TP IPsec enabled. Then you can use this setting. Otherwise, these settings will not apply here, which don't have L2TP IPsec option enabled. So we have copied the instruction, the host name from here. Let's just go back to the settings and paste it right here. By default, the account name is VPN now we need to go into the authenticating authentication settings and then we need to put VPN here and this shared secret is also VPN so the username the password and the shared secret everything is VPN you so you don't need to be confused in any place just click on OK now once it's done then what we need to do is we need to click on show VPN status in menu bar and then when we click on advanced we need to put a check on this option that is send all traffic over VPN connection that means whenever we send a request to our internet service provider it will go through the VPN connection so let's just press OK and apply these settings now right now I am not connected I am only connected to the Ethernet in between let me just show you my location so what's my location and hit enter now I am right here in around Delhi so let me just click on my location so you can have a look as you can see India Haryana Gurgaon near to my location so let's just go back and try to connect to our VPN server by just pushing the connect button once I'll connect it it will send the request to the VPN server and try to connect to the VPN account now as you can see I am connected to the VPN account as you can see the sent and received status as well and the IP address is also changed here 
10.211.1.8 now let's just go ahead and again click on what's my location and check if the location is changed or not as you can see Safari can't open the page let's just click on it and again check for the location so the request is sending somewhere else let's just click on it again so we need to close the Safari and then open it again let's just type Google so it says Safari can't establish a secure connection let's just disconnect from the VPN once and then connect it again so it's connected and our internet is also working now so let's check what's my location and when I search for it it again send us the wrong request might be because of the setting of this VPN so if this VPN not work you don't need to be worried about anything just disconnect from it that and then just go back to the VPN gate website and copy another setting so I have updated my Mac uh, because you see the recent update available for my Mac so I have restarted the computer but because of the VPN connection Safari is not able to communicate with the VPN servers so to resolve that problem what I did I installed Google Chrome on the machine and uh, I tried one more setting that is for Japan and it's connected as you can see so let's just go ahead and open Google and uh, it's working as you can see let's just maximize it and uh, open what's my location now and as you can see it's working and the location it's right here and you can just visit this website as well and now as you can see the website is are working absolutely fine and faster I'm using a virtual machine so you are seeing some kind of a disturbance on the screen but if you're using an actual Mac computer you will not see these kind of things on your computer so the country is Japan and as you can see we are connected so let me just show you one more time that I can connect to any other country or not so let's just minimize it and create one more setting disconnect it from here and open it again and VPN let's just check the first setting that we did for Peru and let's create one more setting for Taiwan as well so we can check that everything is working or not so we have created three settings now let's just go to the VPN gate website So let's just go down and take the Peru settings, copy it and added the settings here. Let's just put the server name and the account name is VPN and authentication settings. Let's put VPN here and VPN here as well. Okay, advanced send all traffic. I'm showing you this because lots of people facing problems while connecting to these connections so that's why I'm installing two three connections so you can easily check that everything is working or not let me just move it down and let's move to Taiwan so the settings are keep on changing so let's just take this one for Korea VPN then authentication settings VPN VPN and OK and then advance and let's 
check send all traffic ok apply let's check with the last setting try to connect it's connected let's open Google Chrome and check the location now prior to that we have in settings for Japan now Korea as you can see let's just check and disconnect from this one we have already checked the Japan settings let's check the Peru settings as well it's also connected and let's just go to the location again and reload the page so there might be some problem with Peru settings so I don't recommend you to connect to this server might be it will be resolved in future so try to use other settings that are available here on the bottom you can use these settings let's just add it this setting with some other one let's try United Kingdom settings as well so I have changed the settings let's just click on disconnect and apply and connect again so if some settings are not working you don't need to worry just go to the other settings and use that one like there are two settings for United Kingdom so just use the second one if the first one don't work let's just click on it again and disconnect not connected let's just put the new settings here paste and apply and then try to connect again these all are the free settings so we need to be navigate to other settings if the first one is not working because lots of people using these settings so might be take some time to connect because if someone is using it and it's on its threshold then we are not able to connect to that particular server so we need to try and other settings every time so you just need to save three four settings in your computer and just choose them one by one let's just check Malaysia as you can see it's not able to connect so just change the settings by going to another setting and copy it and then just paste it here because the other settings are same for every account I have saved the settings let's click on apply let's click on apply and then connect and it's connected as you can see and we are connected to the Malaysian server let's go back here and check the location now let's quit from here and again open it let's open google.com so as you can see some settings are not working and some settings have worked fine so what you need to do is just save the correct settings that are working for you and leave the other settings just delete them and connect to the settings that are working absolutely fine let's just click on connect one more time and check that whether the Japan connection is working or not and as you can see it's working absolutely fine let's just check the location one more time that it's working or not so it's working and it's really fast server so you just need to find out the correct server for you and use that on your machine so guys that's it from my end if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day